happy Halloween. Are you gonna take your kids trick or treating? You have questions, I have answers. Great, great question. What I want to be able to do is give you world life experiences that I've been going through. What's up, Bob Mortgage Nation? This is the 11th episode of the Ask Bob Mortgage Show. So this show, what we do is you guys get to go out there and ask questions on social media, right? Ask the question, hashtag Ask Bob Mortgage, and my team's going to go through these questions, get them to me, and then every week I get to answer them. So you guys have picked some great questions. We got Marla back on the Ask Bob Mortgage Show. What's up, Marla? What's up? All right, let's roll. What do we got? Um, let's see. We got first. We have Taylor on Facebook commented on the third one-minute mortgage solution video you released. What about a buyer that just moved to the states and don't have established credit yet? Okay, the third one was. I think that was when we were outside, and it was. I think she was related to the one from Portugal. We did a loan from Portugal. So here's what we had, a $250,000 loan that had been turned down by two previous lenders. Their challenge was they could not document a two year work history, seven months at their current job, and then previous employment in Portugal. They couldn't bridge the gap. Okay, so if, you have, if a buyer just moved here and has an established credit, so let's assume this, they actually have a social security number. Okay, so they just haven't That's really nice. built any credit yet. What we can do is we can do an FHA loan. If we pull credit and it comes back NA, 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 which means there's absolutely no credit, no scores have been produced, um, then we can go on an FHA loan and, and do it that way. If we're needing other options, let's say a conventional VA USDA option, which those have minimum scores, then what we do is let's say we talk to the client and build credit for them, like getting a secured credit card uh, let's say a $300 uh, secured credit card, keep a $25 balance on it for about 30, 45 days, the credit scores would begin reporting. And typically, I mean, we see a score that'll go to 620, 640, 660 pretty quickly with just doing, um, with just doing that one Correct. thing, right? Conventional, y you have to have established credit. You're going to have to have at least that 620 or higher credit score, uh, VA 600 or higher. USDA 640 and higher. So if we need one of those loans, we're going to have to build some credit. Otherwise, we can go FHA, no credit. Now, if they haven't moved here and they don't have plan on moving here, we could actually do a foreign national loan, right? And we don't even look at credit at all. We don't even look at their credit. We don't look at income. I mean, which is really an asset-based loan. But uh, Taylor, great question. That is the way I would structure that one. Now, Marla's my underwriter. She may question me, but that's the way I'm going to roll with it. <laughs> what you got? Uh, next, we got Kevin on LinkedIn. He asked, Bob, curious, how, much, how has business been after you started pushing out all this killer content? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kevin, it, it, uh, it's been amazeballs, man. I'm telling you, it's been awesome. So here's what, what all, we're focused on just educating, right? So that, that's, the, that's the thing here. We, I'm not putting out content to immediately get business back, okay? I mean, I'm committed to the process of putting out so much content to educate my referral partners, my potential referral partners, my clients, my potential clients, uh, just anybody in general that is thinking about purchasing a home. Uh, it's about educating first. And once I committed to that strategy and, 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 and the why behind all that, then putting out all this, and I appreciate you saying killer because Brandon will appreciate that uh, as well, <laughs> but putting out all that content, the reason I, I committed to that was because it, it, it's, a, it's a labor of love. It's a lot of work. I'm working more than I've ever worked before uh, because while we are documenting what's happening in our office, uh, there's just a lot more that we have to strategize on, our macro content, our micro content, our second level of micro content uh, that we produce, the thought that goes into making sure that we're in meetings and, and, and how we're going to document all that stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's creating a lot more work for me, but it's the stuff that I love. Uh, we're a media company now, not so much a mortgage company. Our mortgage is, is our vehicle and it's how we make a living and it's, it's everything that we do every day. But we just look at our ability to help more people through through media. So business is, it is, it's amazeballs. Uh, we're committed to it. We're going to continue to grow it. It's going to be just, 
it, it's going to be even better, Kevin. I can't wait to, to see what this even looks like three months down the road and, and 12 months down the road. The, the attention that we're bringing to the brand within our real estate community, it, it's, it's, been, it's, it's been awesome. And appreciate you asking the questions because it's people like you that have helped me create things like this in the Ask Bob Mortgage Show. So, yeah, amaze balls. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what else we got? Anything? Uh, oh, yes. I know we got something else. What yes, do we got? we do. We have a super cute video. <laughs> yes, we do. Guys, and this is stuff, I, I usually try not to see anything, right? This is what this whole thing is about. Impromptu, ask questions, team figures it out. I'll answer them, right? Kind of off the cuff. This one, way too cute. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Riley sent in a video on Halloween. And I got it, guys. And I'm going to watch it because, and I want you guys to watch it because this is just way too cute. Hey, Bob Morgan. Happy Halloween. Are you going to take your kids trick-or-treating? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first time ever for us, I actually responded to her video in a video um, that night. So it actually took place that night. So Brandon's going to roll that one. Oh my gosh, I love your Halloween costume. Of course, of course Bob, Bob Morgan is going to take us trick or treating. Or treating. Yeah. Um, I got to tell you, it, it was such a cute video. And yes, uh, I did have an awesome time. And I took our girls out for Halloween. Now, granted, they're 12 and 14. It's, they're like, see you later, Dad. I'm, I'm, right. I'm down the road. I'm doing stuff. <laughs> so Jen and I get to kind of hang out, have a glass of wine. It was actually a really nice, relaxing evening because we chilled, had some wine, handed out a ton of candy. They were, they were coming till 10 o'clock. Wow. I mean, 10 o'clock these kids were coming. And, and we were thinking it was going to rain, and it, and it didn't. So it worked wow. out really, really well. So, girl, you keep it up. You keep asking those <laughs> questions. I love it. I'll answer every one of your questions uh, going forward. But is that it? Yep. Awesome. Hey, you keep asking questions. I'm going to keep answering them. You guys have an awesome weekend.